Here's a hopefully quick overview of how the keyword research document works. So the first thing you're going to do is import your keyword list from Ahrefs. This is just a organic keywords export just from um, that option on Ahrefs. What we'll do is we'll we do our keyword research by grabbing all of our clients' competitors' keywords lists, and then we'll export those you know, 10 to 20, 30, whatever it may be, CSV files. We'll merge all the CSV files, and we'll just do a single import into uh, Google Sheets. I'm just going to do one CSV file just to, for the sake of example, and I'm just going to grab uh, Matt's uh, keywords from his site. So I'm just going to replace data selected cell or replace current sheet, doesn't matter. Just if you do replace that current cell, make sure you're on A1. And this will list out, um, if you've merged all your files, we'll have all your merged CSV files in a row here. What this will do is this will populate the research sheet and I'll go over the stats sheet at the end. The research sheet under keywords, it automatically parses out all the duplicate keywords. We have the equation right here. Um, so it parses out all the duplicate keywords and just imports all the you know the unique keywords. And then the search volume automatically finds the keyword and finds its respective search volume. And then you have all that here, you have your filters, so you can sort however you want. And then your next step is to determine if this is a keyword you want to target. Uh, so if you want to target it, um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter what you, scratch that, yes it does, sorry. Yes, it does matter what you put in here, you have to put in either yes or no. Um, so if you want to target yes, if you don't want to target, enter no. So let's just say we want to target these five keywords and we don't want, or seven keywords and we don't want to target the rest of these keywords. Let me just scroll down to the last keyword. Um, so that's it for that. Just for the sake of filtering, I'm just going to remove blanks here. Going to only look at the yeses. So here are all the keywords. The next thing we need to do is choose what page we want to target for the keywords. So just keyword mapping. So let's say for these couple keywords, we want to target the home page. And for here, we're going to target a sub page. So what this does is this sheet now has all of the keywords that we want to target and what page we want to map it to. But these green um, sheets right here named homepage, what this does is the equation on the homepage sheet searches this sheet to find in this column something that matches the name of the sheet. So if the sheet name is homepage, it'll look for homepage within this column and only grab the keywords mapped to that page. So you'll have all the keywords just mapped to this page, their search volume, their click value. The click value is the search volume times the cost per click. So if you were to buy every uh, search at the cost per click data that Ahrefs has, what would it cost you? The keyword difficulty is important here as well and also the ranking pages. So if you import more than one uh, uh, keyword, uh, sorry, website, in this case, I only did math site. If you dra drag this down, it'll show you every page that's ranking. So in this case, um, you know, the anchor links, the internal anchor links are also ranking. That's what Ahrefs showed. If you had multiple sites in here, you'd be able to see, okay, these four competitors were ranking for this. These two competitors were ranked for this, so on and so forth. Uh, especially if you're not sure what page to map a keyword to, if you're you're determining, hey, should I map this to page A or to page B, uh, you can look at what your competitors are typically doing and then make that adjustment on the research sheet and this will automatically update this sheet. So we also had a second page in here, which was a sub page. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to duplicate this sheet. I'm going to rename the sheet to sub page. So the way that this works is the sheet name is a custom function built into app scripts. So this can take a couple minutes to load. However, if you just copy cell A2, delete it, paste it back in, what this does is it forces um, the Google Sheet to recognize the change in the sheet name. So this will just force the data to populate. Same thing, you, sometimes you open up the document, it'll just take a while for the script to run or whatever. Copy A2, delete it, paste it, and again, it'll repopulate. It's just a weird way of how um, the script kind of um, interacts with Google Sheets. Anyway, so now we just have the keywords mapped to this individual page. So what we'd want to do is for each page we would map to, just make a duplicate of homepage, just rename the tab to however, whatever nomenclature you're using for that target page. And then it'll um, you know, auto-populate the data here. So now we see individual page by page basis, what we're targeting. Uh, the ranking page is always just kept to the first cell just because if you import 40 sites, uh, it's going to make the you know some of the columns get super massive. So I only drag and drop or copy and paste uh, when I need to rather than just have this be a massive document.
Uh, so before I get onto the SERP features, I'll get into that last because um, that won't impact the stat sheet. So the stat sheet is mostly for clients to kind of view this uh, at a very broad overview without us having to you know, explain to them how to actually read all the cells of data that we imported. So these are all auto-populated. Uh, this section and this section, this you have to edit yourself. So this is the total imported term. So this just crawls the import sheet, which I hid right here. Uh, we also have a hidden sheet over here um, that I won't get into. Uh, but total terms imported, it just checks the import sheet, how many total keywords were imported, and then how many we selected. So it checks the research sheet, how many said yes. And then what's the total search monthly search volume of those seven terms that we selected, so 12,000 in this case. And then using this data and some simple math, it just populates this. So estimated click-through rate, just by default, it's 5%. Estimated website conversion rate, because typically in the middle of the funnel terms that we're looking for for our local clients, we just set it to 20%. And then whatever the lead value is. And then that'll populate this. Monthly search traffic is just search volume times cost per click. Leads is the search traffic, estimated monthly traffic times the conversion rate. Monthly value is the monthly leads times the lead value. And total click value is the um, total click value, sorry, total keyword value is the cost per click times search volume of all the selected keywords. Uh, so for example, if we thought we could get a, uh, since we're only targeting seven terms, we think we can get a 15% click through rate. We have a good conversion rate, 25%, and each lead is worth $100 to us. Uh, then we can kind of you know see the data here. 1,800 visitors per month would be worth 450 leads, estimated $45,000 worth of uh, traffic. And we kind of use these as a range um, for clients because sometimes this is massively undervalued where someone might be paying $120 per click, especially in some of the more competitive niches, but their lead value is $100 or something like that. So it gives them a much better range. Sometimes the monthly value is 5000 but the total keyword value, so what people, if you were to buy every click on Google, what it would cost you, is sometimes way higher, like 10, 20 times higher, sometimes even more. So it gives a much more accurate range than saying, hey, you can only make $5,000 a month from this, where most of the times that's not true. It's just how Ahrefs collected the data. They don't obviously have all the perfect data and you are using some estimates up here. Um, so it just gives a better range for clients especially. But this sheet isn't something that we use in-house to help determine the campaign. We're using all the actual data parts of this and the stat sheet is a visual for the clients. That's a little bit nicer. For the SERP feature import sheet, Instead of pulling directly from the import sheet, instead, just because uh, we don't always necessarily want to only pull in only the keyword that we selected to see what SERP features there are, what we did was we just went to Keywords Explorer on Ahrefs, entered in all the yes keywords into Ahrefs, and just exported from the Keyword Explorer. Um, and then we just import this sheet right into the import sheet. And this will automatically populate the SERP features uh, sheet here. So what this does is it grabs all the keywords from the SERP feature import sheet, grabs their search volume, and grabs all the SERP features that Ahrefs says that they have. So it has related questions, site links, so on and so forth. Then we have a breakdown of the SERP features here. And we just have an auto-populated X wherever there is actually a search, that SERP feature for that keyword. This does not contain all the SERP features on Ahrefs because this is what we use in-house and these are the ones that we're mostly worried about on um, for local clients. If you're doing mostly affiliate stuff, there's probably one or two more that uh, you want to pay attention to. But if you go on Ahrefs, they'll show you a list of all their SERP features. So you can just, uh, it's just relatively straightforward to add it in yourself. Um, if you're not familiar with Sheets, probably have a dev do it for you. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty straightforward. Just import that. It'll tell you what SERP features. So if you want to see which ones had an image pack that you can get into. In this case, it was all of them. Which ones have related questions? You could just f filter this. Okay, these keywords have related questions. Let's create a plan of action for that. Um, yeah, so that's how this sheet works.